everyone, this is Joy Paris with RichGoldNetwork.tv and we are at the California Institute of Abnormal Arts. This place is creepy, creepy, creepy. If you have not been here, you've got to come out and see this venue. Absolutely awesome. I'm a fan anyway of all this crazy cool stuff. So I love it and I hope when you get here, you might love it too. So keep watching RichGoldNetwork.tv. Strange, a strange feeling. Uh, you know, I there's a guy. You first, you get your t hand stamp through someone's ear, and th like if that wasn't weird enough, you walk in and uh, you notice these um, like mummified bodies, but then you find out that they're real, real human mummified bodies, <laughs> and uh, you know, and like that lady's, I, she, I feel like she's staring at me. The clown. There's a there's a clown there. The dead clown. Like a clown is already scary, but then you add him. He's dead now and like just laying there, looking awful. Yeah, but it's fun. Yeah. The creepiest thing. Um, hmm. Well, uh, God, I don't know. The creepiest thing that's ever happened to me. Okay. Uh, well, we had. Um, uh, when my brother and I, growing up, um, we had uh, we, we pretended, I guess, that we saw a clown across the street yeah. from us in like this abandoned house. So we'd always look into the attic, and uh, one of us would be like, "There's the clown, Buffy." We named the clown Buffy. I don't know. So I think we were given that information, but it's like, "Use the clown. Don't go over there. It's Buffy the clown." And but it's not really a thing. I know. I think we were just making it up. Like I would make it up, so my brother would get freaked out, and he would make it up, so I'd get freaked out. Yeah, yeah. But it was still kind of creepy walking at night. Like, if I still lived in that neighborhood and it was night, I'd still walk by and be like, Buffy. like, yo, Buffy's up there. I know it, you know. If you had to describe this place in three words, what would it be? Uh, red, <laughs> frightening, and interesting. But really red. It's very red. Red. Yeah. Blood red and, you know. The scary things aren't in red. Everything else is in red. There, I mean, there's a per, there's a body right there. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> just, just looking out. Yeah. You know, just are still there. I don't know. I feel like, don't they deteriorate? Don't they go away? How is that real? How could that be? A per I don't know. How do we find you on social media and how do we stay in touch with you? Uh, you can uh, see me on Twitter. Um, Twitter handles at Carl Girolamo. Uh, Facebook, Carl Girolamo. Yep. And, uh, and it's Instagram, Carl Jerome. What's great about my name, it's weird and no one else has it. So, no. Or, or like, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you and enjoy the night. And, and hopefully you won't get too creeped out when you leave. Yeah, uh, I'll do my best. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Whip out your Google and go on Google and type in my great uncle's name, Jerry Crew Bigfoot. Jerry Crew was the first person to take a plaster cast of Bigfoot in 1958 on Mount Shasta. He was a logger and vlogged the virgin forest of Mount Shasta. His discovery changed the name from Sasquatch to Bigfoot. He named it. Yeah, I was like, yeah, wow. Baby, I'm actually going up to Willow Creek to do a documentary about him. And uh, he was very practical too. He wasn't like, you know, uh, I mean, uh, he would say, well, legends don't leave big old piles of poop. <laughs> that makes sense. I don't personally, I don't personally believe that they're supernatural. Um, I think they're they're human. Uh, I don't think they're the missing link or anything, but I think they're human, and that to me makes it much more creepy than being some supernatural thing. Yeah, really creepy. Uh, he told me stories of, of when they had a little cabin in the middle of the woods, and Bigfoot used to come down out of the woods and check out their their machines they used to bulldoze the roads. So they just stand around and look at these machines, you know. And one time he looked out, he saw this female Bigfoot at the end of the little uh, fence that went around it. And she's like looking at the house. She picks up a 600 pound oil drum filled and throws it the length of the yard. Wow. She's like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, my father was there also, but never saw them, only heard them. And my other uncle was there and saw him. My other uncle was paid by a millionaire to hunt Bigfoot for two years. Mm. Yeah, uh, Mr. Slick or something like that, yeah. So there's a lot, a lot of history. I'm just so glad to be from that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good time. Okay, the last thing I'm going to show you is the Spear of Destiny. Ooh. Anyone knows what that yeah. is? No. Sword of Longinus? Destiny. Yeah, uh, Christ on the cross. Oh, very good. Hey, man, you got a day, brother. <laughs> you been, what's your name? <laughs> Kevin. Hey, man, I'm going to give you a blessing right now. Yes, brother. Okay. 
This is one of the 17 replicas that Himmler had made for Hitler. He had the real one. Now the legend of the spear is if it's in your possession, you rule the world. There are seven emperors traced to it, Frederick the Great, Barbarossa, Napoleon, who went through all these treasure houses. And Hitler had it for a while too, and he was doing pretty good when he had it. He just made that about <laughs> Hitler, yeah. That's a book right there called The Spear of Destiny by Trevor Ravenscroft. And he was an occultist. And he's the one that tells you, oh gee, Hitler was a Satanist. <laughs> yeah, don't find that out in school. Yeah. A lot of very dark technology came out of the Nazi movement because of their involvement with demons. Okay, Dietrich Eckhart was in the Cool Society, and he was the one who put Hitler through all these horrible rituals to open his third eye and all this crazy stuff. But um, the thing about the spear is, well, first of all, they had the first uh, spaceship. It was called the Nazi Bell. And if you go on Google and type in Nazi Bell, you'll see a bell-shaped craft that hung over concentration camp during the war. And they had a special thing that it took off in, and they just discovered that. Uh, uh, so there's a lot of really creepy. Only problem is, child, when you get your information from that side of the coin, mm -hmm, you will be burned.